Yeah, I'm currently finishing my final year of my master's or finance degree at the University of Cambridge School of Finance. So far as I've been participating in three to four galleries around Christchurch and New Zealand. And so the young artists you know, want to have the liberation of freedom and as less compromise as we could get. You know? So that's why I get this idea of having a private space, a rented space, and turn it into a private studio or gallery for a short amount of time. And so in that sense, I can do what I want with my artworks into the installation. And I think it's really good so far. We've been hearing a lot of good feedback on the installation and on the individual works. So I'm very happy, uh, very pleased. I think I'm very lucky you know, during this whole project. I've been getting so many good feedback and support from the local community and beyond. I'm really fascinated and loving the possibility of the painting media. And uh, the whole painting practice in science becomes a process of trying to achieve some sort of democracy of different kind of painting language, which I mean uh, could be something like thin and thick, and also could be culturally influenced painting visual vocabulary. So this whole process of constant struggle and finally I will achieve some kind of very non-describable balance between different kind of things. Then you know that's when painting become finished and become an individual and dependent work. Human civilization is always this highly institutionalized organization and context. So in a sense, a lot of time we start losing sensibility or we get used to certain sort of things, get domesticated. So through my painting, in a sense, it's a way of reaching some kind of reality and trying to capture the real sensibility, emotion and intuition through this practice. That's my painting. That's what my painting is for me anyway. So when I feel it's a success painting, that's when I really feel I have somehow reached some sort of reality of either my inner world or this weird being which is parallel between the physical world and my own thinking. From my personal experience with Tsmi, Tsmi is kind of contemporary but quirky, which is good. But after I purchased some bubble tea and some traditional Chinese tea, Taiwanese tea, it really blew me away just by the professionality coming from the staff member and owner of the shop and the way how to deal with things. I was very pleased, you know, because I personally was a big fan of Chinese tea and Taiwanese Kung Fu tea. I always want, you know, some kind of market or some kind of awareness of the tea start involving more and more in the New Zealand culture. But it hadn't been, you know, really happening uh, until Tsmi's existence. You know, a lot of foreign people start realizing, oh, the Chinese people have such a great tea culture and tea drinking culture is great. And uh, you know, and I'm a young artist, and you know, uh, apart from as an individual practice artist, I also this multicultural background, and especially like Chinese culture. So you know, things like this change from the show to promote my <coughs> multicultural practice. I would also love to promote some sort of um, different cultural ceremonies or cultural elements into the show. So obviously I think in terms of opening, drinking and refreshment is always a compulsory part. Hence I was the idea of having teasing to do a live tea ceremony plus bubble tea cocktail to go with the opening. And I think that was a great idea. I'm very proud of it. And I think that's possibly one of the best ideas so far in my project. I have been receiving a lot of successful comments on the whole tea making and how the color of the tea, the cultural significance of the tea, you know, to go with the painting side by side and I'm very pleased. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say the only recognition would be uh, acceptance into some kind of group show, which you know um, is some kind of national wise competition and I was very privileged to be included into the show. And also later on this year, I will possibly be um, involved in this workshop in the Christchurch City Art Gallery, so which is a quite big privilege for young artists, especially someone like me who was originally from China, who recently immigrated to Christchurch from New Zealand. Yeah, and also, um, I think certain newspaper report on my previous work or art events which included my artwork. I think that's, um, yeah, possibly some scholarship certain privileges, scholarship and prize or awards I received through my master and my undergraduate training here. 
So I think that's all um, objectively speaking, you know, what kind of recognition. And I think every year only a couple of students from our school, you know, can get a scholarship and it's quite privileged. Also there's another one called the honor scholarship and lucky enough I was the only student from the school of fine arts to receive the scholarship. And I was um, very happy about the achievement from that scholarship. But I think that's all kind of from the object of recognition. I think it kind of stimulated me to go further and further and keep exploring the better quality so I'm painting practice. So I don't know, it's, you know, it's a practice I can, I can never give a conclusion. Right.